Great, Dan. Um, would you call that a bit of a, uh, a sloppy game uh, tonight, to, at least to start off with? Puck was bouncing a little bit, I would say, both ways. So, uh, yeah, there were some weird goals uh, both against us and for us. So it was a little bit scrambly. But I thought as the game went on, it got a little bit cleaner. Both teams found their legs and started playing better. And, uh, you know, I thought we definitely improved throughout the game and in the third period. Was it perhaps a case of you played some very competitive teams lately and you're up against a, a team that's out of it for the uh, rest of the year? Was, was there some apathy there? No, I wouldn't say that. Edmonton's a very competitive team too. And uh, they might not be in the playoff picture right now, but they work hard. They've got good players. They're well coached. They're physical. They're fast. That's a really good team there, and uh, their position in the standings isn't reflective of them as a team. Uh, they're a hard team to play against, for sure. Can you talk about Joel's game tonight? Uh, yeah, really, um, really impressed with the way he works. You know, he battles. You can see there's a lot of traffic around his net, a lot of crease play, second chances, third chances. He really competed hard. We've seen that from him in practice and in his previous games uh, coming into tonight's game, um, and we saw that again tonight. So really impressed with his work ethic. What's the plan for him now? So he'll stay with us for the rest of the week, uh, and then he'll return to his uh, junior team on the weekend. And uh, your power play was one for six, although look, uh, were you concerned with that with that at all? No, I thought Edmonton did a really good job penalty killing as well. They took away a lot of uh, passing lanes, a lot of shooting lanes, forced us to really work hard to get inside. Uh, and I thought it was a good job by the power play towards the end to adjust to that and eventually get inside and uh, you know create the chances and then ultimately the goal. Five times tonight you had to come back uh, to try and take the lead. What kind of uh, tool does that take mentally when you have to have your big guys come out big for each of the goals? That's a great question. I, I thought the uh, yeah the high minute players did a really good job responding every time we got down. But the other thing that was really important was the whole bench, um, regardless of what line, regardless of what D pairing. Uh, I thought everyone responded in a very uh, positive way every time Edmonton scored. Nothing negative, nothing self defeating. Just like okay, come on, let's go. This is the situation. We've got to push back, and they did every time. So I was happy with that. So what would be the key takeaway or learning lesson from today? Obviously not the result you would like. Correct. Puck management, I would say. Uh, my feeling was that at our blue line and at the offensive blue line, uh, we gave it back to Edmonton too much. Partly a result of them playing good defense, but also us just maybe trying to do a little bit too much, trying to beat players one-on-one, -on -one, but out of, outside of our structure there a little bit, whereas the times that we advanced the puck, managed it better, put it into better spots, we, we tended to have more success. Uh, I think it was six or seven guys uh, scratched tonight. Was that part of just recovery management? Obviously, you're not getting a lot of rest here, uh, you know, games and, and having some new players coming Yeah, a little bit of both, a little bit of recovery, a little bit of management. A few guys, uh, yeah, just trying to get healthy. And um, so you have to take those uh, opportunities when you can. Unfortunately, sometimes it's on a game day, and that's not ideal. Uh, but we need to make sure guys are, are, are healthy going forward. Last question, Red Deer coming up. What, uh, they're a bit on a tear. What will it take to uh, beat them? Lots of respect for Red Deer. They play a very hard game as well, fast and physical, just like Edmonton. So we will need our very best, our very, very best from the, uh, from the lineup that night to, to uh, get that done. Okay. Thank Specifically, you very much. Uh, why wasn't Griffin out there tonight? Same thing, you know, just making sure he's fully recovered and, and for, fully healthy going forward. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, guys. Good. Good. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, a little bit of a rough night out there when you had your nine um, game winning streak broken by the Edmonton Oilers, a team that you might not have thought would have been doing that to you from the time. Yeah, uh, well, I mean, it just goes to show uh, any team can come in and win it any given night. So you got to make sure that you're prepared and you got to battle all the way through the game. You can't take anyone lightly. So, uh, you know, they played really well and, you know, they capitalized on a lot of their chances. So uh, you've got to give a lot of credit to them. So you came back five times um, from, from their lead. What kind of uh, tool did that do you think on when your players having to come up big so much? Well, uh, I think we've got a really good team here. And, uh, we've been down a game before and we've had to come back. And we know we're capable of doing it. And uh, I thought we battled hard. And, uh, and we were able to get a couple bounces and a couple pucks in the net to tie it up, which is great. But, you know, we're never happy with uh, the losing result. And comment about uh, the three power play opportunities in the second period that, uh, you know, came up short. Um, you have a bit of a pivotal point that could have put the game a little more in your favor. Anything you thought... Um, could have been happening a little better to make it happen. Yeah, well, I mean, their special teams were playing really well. Um, they scored a power play goal. Uh, you know, we had a couple of good lucks on the power plays, but they were doing a good job shutting the lanes down and, you know, getting them in front of shots. So, you know, 
any given night that that, that can happen. So you just gotta hopefully move on and play a lot well better next time. <laughs> Sorry, would you suggest the, that um, you played some really competitive uh, teams lately, and uh, Edmonton doesn't have a great record. You got a nine and zero record in a row against them. Did you say there's a little bit of apathy in, in, in the sloppiness to start the game today? Uh, I mean, I guess. I thought our, our pregame routine was, was good. You know, we were focused for the game. We came out and uh, I thought we were playing well, but you know, games can slip away. And they're a great team. You, you know, their record's not so great, but you know, they battled hard. They played us hard. All of our games against them this year, I think, have been one-goal games. You know, an overtime uh, win before in Edmonton. So, it just shows that they're a team that they battle for the finish. So, you know, on any given night, uh, any team can win. So, you got to make sure we're bringing it all. Talk about the uh, two new players that came out tonight. I think it was their debut, Yoder and um, Nagoli. Which has to be, I don't think she has properly, but yeah, just comment on having some new young blood uh, with the team and an opportunity to, for them to perform. Yeah, I think they did great. Um, you know, it's not easy when we have guys out of the lineup, uh, but you know, having young guys come in and step up, uh, I thought they did really well. Uh, to you know, both of our first games in the WHL. So, like you know, like a couple years ago, I remember doing that. So, um, you know, they played well. They played hard. You gotta give a lot of credit to Grizz and Matt. Uh, you know, take some tough shots and go right into a shootout into his first game was you know tough for him, but. He battled well and he kept us in the game, so both of them played really well, uh, but you know, it's tough to lose. Next step, uh, Red Deer, they've been on a bit of a tear themselves and, and, and focus on, on how do you can take them. Yeah, we just got to make sure that we're ready from start to finish. Uh, like I said, they been winning, I think, they won the last two or three games. Uh, I think they beat Cologne tonight, so they're definitely a desperate team. They're, they're right outside a playoff spot, I believe. And, uh, you know, it's going to be a tough game for sure, uh, not an easy one. And, uh, I think just, you know, after tonight, we, we just got to, you know, move on, look at things we did wrong, and can improve on, and, you know, get focused and get ready because it's going to be a tough weekend. All right, all the best. Welcome, Joel. So, uh, out there, a, a tough game, but you made a valiant effort coming back uh, five times and trying to uh, shut them out. Comment on your first game with us. Uh, well, anytime you kind of let in six goals in the game, you're not going to be overly thrilled with yourself. But uh, I mean, I thought the team played well. There was a couple unlucky bounces. Things didn't go my way a couple times. But uh, I know that uh, I know that we we, we definitely had a chance of winning that game. Were you in the SJ before coming here? Yeah, I was playing for the Balfour North Stars. So, what did you see as the biggest difference from moving up to this level? Uh, definitely the pace of the, definitely the pace and the speed of the, just puck moving everywhere. It's a lot quicker, it's a lot crisper, and you always got to be on your toes. What would you uh, say to the players who came back five times to score goals uh, for the Royals? Uh, I gotta say thank you for trying to bail me out there. Uh, I think if I uh, stop a couple of those, we win. And in, in the... Uh, Overtime, you certainly came up 100% for victory three for three. What was your focus then? Uh, I was just trying to put out my best effort for them. They, came, they put out their best effort for me, so I was just trying to return the favor. And um, anything in terms of um, playing next games? Do you know if you'll be back again for more game? I hear you're coming, uh, staying for the week. Uh, I'm not sure about next games, uh, but uh, it's definitely fun being out here. This week will be definitely be a blast. So nice. All right. Any last comments about uh, you know playing in the Saving Foods Arena and in, in Victoria? Uh, definitely, what a place. Different in Saskatchewan. All right. Perfect.